Now that we have thematically broken down each story in Yorgos Lanthimos' kinds of kindness in the series, let's get to the main question. What does each kindness imply in the film? In each part, we get to see individual subjects playing a role to appease another person. And kindness implies a letting go of oneself to fulfill the wishes of the other person. On a broader level, this likens to a desire to shed away your individuality to the institution, whether it be patriarchy, marriage or even a cult. The director happens to color code the titles of the triptych and in the very first part he also has his protagonist hint the symbolic meaning of each color. This here's Ayrton Senna's helmet. The, the blue and green stripes symbolized speed and aggression whereas the yellow all over symbolized youth. It's notable that here the red in the shoes is given no symbolic meaning, which is in line with our analysis. Because in RMF is flying, we get to witness the register of the real, a realm that is precisely about what is lacking and outside the realm of language and meaning. Hello? From a postmodern sense, we are constantly made to understand the artificial conditions within which the stories operate, continually giving us a feeling of deja vu and making us conscious of the controller of this experiment, namely Yorgos himself. This is a more sophisticated way of implementing the alienation effect on his audience, as theorized by playwright Bertolt Brecht. Highlighted by the excessive use of formalism, even in the cinematography, which shifts from wide-angle lenses in the death of RMF to using anamorphic lenses to highlight the distortion of reality in the symbolic register. By exaggerating the extent to which the subjects in the story feel the need to please the other person, Yorgos makes us aware of the pointlessness of human life and desire. We end up building our values and meanings and actions as a response to the environment we live in, which monitors our language, our body, and even our dreams. By carrying out this absurd experiment, to me the director exhibits the deadly influence of the Baromian knots that tie up our minds and respond to our desires. And by choosing to call these actions acts of kindness, he further makes the point of how we willingly do so, killing ourselves to please the group with ultimately unsuccessful lives. This degeneration in kinds of kindness is highlighted by how the first part ends with three people together, the second part ends with two people together, the third being dead, and the last part ends with only the subject surviving, realizing that she's left alone in this cold world. Therefore, to me, if there is a moral to be grasped from the film, it is to be as detached from human civilization as RMF was. Because the truth, as it appears, is that we'll always be instruments to the big other. We will continue to be killed. We will be remembered and ultimately even resurrected by the same faces living different lives. But at the end of it all, what really seems to matter is if we can eat our sandwich with pride, wiping off all the spilled ketchup and moving forward without any hesitation.